page 12, paragraph page 1178. Okay, and our last headword was a frantic full stage revision. Okay, so let's start from where we ended. Okay, one moment. Okay. Frantic. Okay, here we go. First question. Okay. Okay, so which museum in your country would you say provided the best insight into the nation's history? Which museum in your country would you say provided the best insight into the nation's history? I'd say the museum say in my country, the museum in my country that provided the, that best, provided insight the best insight into the nation's history, the nation's history was, was uh, Hiroshima, um, Hiroshima Peace uh, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Very good. Okay. Next, why do many people drink coffee to perk themselves up in the morning? Why do many people drink coffee to perk themselves up in the morning? Many people drink many coffee people drink to perk coffee themselves to up perk themselves in the morning because, the morning because it contains a lot, of, contains caffeine. A lot of caffeine. Very good. Tell me some common perks that companies offer employees. Tell me some common perks that companies offer employees. Some common perks some that, common companies perks that companies offer employees are free child care, health care, gym membership, etc. Et Very good. For what reason might someone bear a grudge against another person? For what reason might someone bear a grudge against another person? Someone might bear someone a grudge bear against a grudge another, person, against another person, person either because they resent something they resent the person has done the person in, the has done in the past or just because, or just because they are they envious, of they are envious of them. Very good. What am I pretending to do what am i pretending to do you're pretending you to, pretending smear to smear something over your face over your face very good what's the difference between a bystander and a spectator what's the difference between a bystander and a spectator the difference between the difference a between bystander, bystander and, a and a spectator is that a bystander, that a bystander is usually someone is usually who someone witnesses an who event by chance event by chance a fight in the street for example, for example, a spectator, on the other hand, the other is usually hand, someone who has deliberately who gone has deliberately to see an event. Uh, now, who has deliberately, deliberately gone? Begun. Well, G-O-N, gone, past tense, past participle of go when uh, gone. 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 gone, to see an event, to see an event. a boxing yeah. match, for example. Uh, match, for example. Very good, one more. The difference between a bystander and a spectator is that a bystander is usually someone who witnesses an event by chance, a fight in the street, for example. A spectator, on the other hand, is usually someone who has deliberately gone to see an event, a boxing match, for example. Very good. Would you become suspicious of a work colleague's mod? motives if they suddenly start acting in a much friendlier manner with you than usual would you become suspicious of a work colleague's motives if they suddenly started acting in a much friendlier manner with you than usual yes or no uh, yes, I become suspicious, I become suspicious of our work colleagues' of motives, our colleagues if motives if they suddenly started, suddenly started acting in a much friendlier manner with me than usual. With me than usual. Very good. Okay, next. What happens to a hut that cannot withstand a storm? What happens to a hut that cannot withstand a storm? A hut that a cannot hut withstand a storm, withstand a storm gets blown to pieces, it's blown to pieces or, falls to pieces. or falls to pieces. Very good. Is an optimistic person more likely to expect their plans to come off or fall through? Is an optimistic person more likely to expect their plans to come off or fall through? An optimistic person is more likely to expect their plans to come off. Very good. Were you a conscientious student at secondary school? Were you a conscientious student at secondary school? Yes or no? Oh, yes. I was a conscientious student at secondary school. Very good. Do you believe in private enterprises or do you believe everything should be owned and run by the state? 
Do you believe in private enterprises or do you believe everything should be owned and run by the state? I believe I believe in private, private enterprises, enterprises and not everything and not should be everything owned and run by the state. And run by the state. Is, ed is education in your country provided mainly by the private sector? Is education in your country provided mainly by the private sector? No, mm, no. education in my education country, in my country isn't, provided isn't provided mainly by the private sector. By the private sector. Very good. When the fire is burning but there are no visible flames, so what do we say it's doing? When the fire is burning but there are no visible flames, what do we say it's doing? When the fire is burning, when the fire but burning, there are no visible flames, no visible flames. We, say it's smoldering. we say it's smoldering. What? Smoldering. smoldering. Very good, one more. When the fire is burning, when the fire but burning, there are no visible, are flames. No visible flames. flames, we say it's smoldering. We say it's smoldering. Why does smothering a kitchen fire with a dump towel often succeed in extinguishing the fire? Why does smothering a kitchen fire with a dump towel often succeed in extinguishing the fire? Smothering a kitchen fire with a dump towel often succeed in extinguishing the fire because it prevents oxygen from reaching the flames so the fire cannot continue burning. Very good. Okay. Give me an example of the adjective horrified. Give me an example of the adjective horrified, please. When I saw the mess when I saw the decorators the mess, had the made, decorator in my had lounge, made in my lounge, I was horrified. I was uh, horrified. Wait, would you describe your region of the country as picturesque? Would you describe your region of the country as picturesque? Yes or no? Mm, yes. I describe my I region, describe of, the my region of, the as as of the country as picturesque. Very good. Who do you think would be more likely to stand by you in a crisis, your family or your friends? Who do you think would be more likely to stand by you in a crisis, your family or your friends? I think my I think my family would be more likely be to more stand likely by me to stand in a crisis. By me in a crisis. Very good. What do we call a child who has neither a mother nor a father? What do we call a child who has neither a mother nor a father? We call a child who has neither a mother nor a father an orphan. Very good. Do you enjoy watching TV programs in which a panel of experts debate current affairs? Do you enjoy watching TV programs in which a panel of experts debate current affairs? Yes or no? Mm, yes. I enjoy watching I enjoy TV, programs watching TV programs in which a panel of, experts, a panel of experts debate current affairs. Current affairs. Very good. How are the words shy and timid different from each other? How are the words shy and timid different from each other? The word shy the and word timid shy have and a timid similar, have meaning. similar meaning, but shy generally means self-conscious self and, uncomfortable and uncomfortable in the company of other people, of other people. whereas timid means timid easily means frightened. Easily frightened. We could give me an example of each. Give me an example of each, please. The little boy the felt little very boy shy felt very in the shy. company of the so many adults, of so many adults. The, actor the actor looked as timid looked as a mouse as a as a when mouse. he walked on stage, to, walk perform. On stage to perform. Very good. Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix al. Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix al, please. My grammatical knowledge, My grammatical of, French knowledge is limited. of French is limited. The teacher made an intentional mistake, an intentional mistake to see if anyone see would notice. We could make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix IVE. Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix IVE, please. It was a good performance, was a good performance. and the audience were, the very audience responsive. were very responsive. Report suggests, Report suggests an explosive device. An explosive device. One more. Report suggests an explosive, an explosive device has been found in the building. Found in the building. Very good. Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix OUS. Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix OUS, please. This food is very tasty, but not very nutritious. Many of us may become ill. 
be, may become ill because this disease because this, is highly this disease infectious. Is highly infectious. Where it makes sentences containing an adjective with a suffix "-ic". Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix "-ic", please. Why did you make Why did such, you make an, idiotic such an decision? idiotic decision? If you like dramatic you stories, like dramatic you'll stories, definitely enjoy you'll definitely this book. Enjoy this book. Make, it make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix Y, please. Why? Make sentences containing an adjective with a suffix Y. Why? The laptop was the faulty, laptop was a... so I return it. Mm, no? The, the laptop, laptop was, was a... faulty. Okay, the laptop was faulty, so I return it, so to, the I shop. Return it to the shop. It may be a risky thing to do, but I think it's your best option. It's your best option. Where it makes sentences containing an adjective with the suffix A B L E. Make sentences containing an adjective with the suffix A B L E, please. A, B, L, e. This part of town this part is of becoming town highly, is desirable. highly desirable. He's not particularly, he's clever, not particularly clever, but he's very likable. He's very likable. Where it makes sentences containing an adjective with the suffix I B L E. Make sentences containing an adjective with the suffix I B L E, please. My mother's chocolate My mother's cakes. Cake. Are, irresistible. are irresistible. The website won't, the website be, accessible won't be accessible to anyone outside, to anyone the, university. outside the university. Very good. If you were working for a meager salary and knew that people in other companies were performing the same role as you for far more money, would you demand a rise? If you were working for a meager salary and knew that people in other companies were performing the same role as you for far more money, would you demand a rise? Yes or no? No. If I were working for a meager salary and knew that people in other companies were performing the same role as me for far more money, I wouldn't demand a rise. Very good. Why is it advisable for frail elderly people to walk with a stick? Why is it advisable for frail elderly people to walk with a stick? It's advisable for frail elderly people to walk with a stick because they're likely because to, they hurt likely themselves to hurt themselves if they fall over. If they fall over. Very good. Why is it that we sometimes take to a person quickly when we chat with them for the first time? Why is it that we sometimes take to a person quickly when we chat with them for the first time? We sometimes take to a person quickly when we chat with them for the first time because we discover we, we have mutual interest, have a, mutual interest a, similar a similar sense of humor, etc. Et Where get name a field of work in which you think sheer determination and hard work are not enough for a person to succeed. Name a field of work in which you think sheer determination and hard work are not enough for a person to succeed. I think. I think. Um, uh, athlete is a field of, is work, a field of work in which sheer determination, which sheer determination and hard work and hard are not work enough for a person to succeed. Very good. So what else do you think is necessary for success? So what else do you think is necessary for success? I think I think um, natural Natural talent is necessary for, success. necessary for success. Very good. Name a species of animal that we often think as being extremely agile. Name a species of animal that we often think of as being extremely agile. The cat is a species of animal that we often think of as being extremely agile. Very good. If you were a teacher, would you sooner have a docile class or one that tended to be a bit rowdy? If you're a teacher, would you sooner have a docile class or one that tended to be a bit rowdy? If I were a teacher, I were a teacher I'd sooner have, I'd sooner have a docile class. class. Very good. Why? Why? Because? Mm, because uh, I think uh, it's easier to, uh, for me to teach the student in a docile class. That's correct. Very good. Again. Okay. Give me an example of the phrase let alone. Give me an example of the phrase let alone, please. He couldn't run he to, couldn't catch run to catch a bus. Let alone let complete alone a marathon. Complete a marathon. 
Very good. When frogs are on land, do they usually walk or hop? When frogs are on land, do they usually walk or hop? When frogs are on land, they usually hop. Very good. What does the verb hop mean when it's used to describe the way a person is moving? What does the verb hop mean when it's used to describe the way a person is moving? When the verb hop is used to describe the way a person is moving, it means to jump on one leg only. Very good. Which would you say it was best to inherit? Brains, beauty, or money? Which would you say it was best to inherit? Brains, beauty, or money? I'd say it was best to inherit brains than beauty and than money beauties and money too. in terms of character who do you take after more your mother or your father in terms of character who do you take after more your mother or your father in terms of character, in terms of character i take after, I my, take after my mother more than my father. Mother, my father very good why is it a good idea for university students to write up any notes they take during a lecture why is it a good idea for university students to write up any notes they take during a lecture it's a good idea it's a good for idea university for students, students to write up some notes up they, some take notes they take during a lecture because it helps them it helps to remember, them the, to information remember the information and gives them a tidier and, them a tidier and complete record of the lecture record of the lecture a complete record of the lecture very good one more it's a good idea it's for, a good university idea for university students to write up some, write up some notes they take some notes they during, take a lecture during a lecture because it helps them it to helps remember them the, information the information and gives them a and tidier them a and more tidier complete and record, more complete record of, the lecture. of the lecture. Very good. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're ducking you down as if. Ducking down. Okay, more. You're ducking down. As if uh, you were ducking down, as you if were trying to avoid trying to being avoid hit or seen. Being hit or seen. Wait, what are the two meanings of the verb gauge? What are the two meanings of the verb gauge? The two meanings, the two of, meanings the of the verb gauge are measure precisely, uh, measure precisely and estimate or judge. Estimate of or judge. Wait, give me an example of each. Give me an example of each, please. We must gauge we must the width gauge of the window, the width of the window before, before cutting the glass to fit. The grass to fit. It's, hard to gauge it's hard to gauge whether he's suitable, whether for, the he's job. suitable for the job. Very good. Is it the custom in your country for friends to embrace if they haven't seen each other for a while? Is it a custom in your country for friends to embrace if they haven't seen each other for a while? Yes or no? No. It no. isn't the custom it in my the country, custom in my country for, friends to embrace for friends to embrace if they haven't seen they each, haven't other seen for a while. each other for a while. Very good. Okay, next. What does the word tug mean? What does the word tug mean? The word tug means, the word the tug means pull, hard. pull hard. What does the word shove mean? What does the word shove mean? The word shove the means, shove means push, hard. push hard. Give me an example of each. Give me an example of each, please. I tugged too hard, I tugged too and, hard. The and the old door handle came off in my hand. Came off in my hand. He shoved me, he shoved me into the swimming pool into the swimming as a pool. joke. As a joke. Very good. Okay, next. What reason might someone have for dropping out of an academic course? What reason might someone have for dropping out of an academic course? Someone might someone drop out might drop of out an out academic of course, an academic course because, they find it boring, because they find it boring, too difficult, etc. Wait, et have you ever been crashed by an opponent when playing sport? Have you ever been crashed by an opponent when playing sport? Yes or no? Like defeated oh, trash, easily, trash. trash. Defeated. Uh, no. No, I have never been trashed no, have never been trashed by, an by an opponent when playing sport. When playing sports. Well, is it strange to think that school teachers used to be allowed to trash pupils as a punishment? Is it strange to think that school teachers used to be allowed to trash pupils as a punishment? Yes. yes, it's strange to it's think strange to that, school think that school teachers used to be allowed, used to, be to, allowed trash to trash pupils as punishment. As a punishment. Very good. What do we mean by an assertive person? What do we mean by an assertive person? 
by an assertive person. We mean someone who communicates their feelings clearly and firmly in order to get what they want, but without being aggressive. And name a situation in which it's important to behave assertively. Name a situation in which it's important to behave assertively, please. It's important, it's important to, behave to behave assertively when you're asking for a pay rise, demanding a refund, etc. Et Very good. What are the three forms of the verb cling? What are the three forms of the verb cling? The three forms the three of the forms verb of cling. The Cling. Are cling, uh, clung, clung, clung. Very good. Why might a small child cling onto their mother's arm in a crowd? Why might a small child cling onto their mother's arm in a crowd? A small child a small might child cling on might cling to their on mother's to arm their mother's in the crowd because they're scared because of getting they are scared lost. Of getting lost. Wait, which other verb is similar in meaning to cling? Which other verb is similar in meaning to cling? Clutch is a verb is a that is similar that in, is meaning similar to cling. in meaning to cling. Right, give me a sentence containing the verb clutch. Give me a sentence yes. containing the verb clutch, please. He clutched her bag clutch tightly her bag. as tightly. she got into uh, the got crowded into that underground train. Underground train. Does the earth revolve around the sun or vice versa? Does the earth revolve around the sun or vice versa? The earth revolves the earth around, the sun. around the sun. Very good. Do religious institutions still exert the same influence on government policy in your country as they used to? Do religious institutions still exert the same influence on government policy in your country as they used to? Yes or no? Uh, no. Religious institutions religious don't institutions exert the don't same exert influence the same on government influence policy on government in my country as, my they country used to. as they used to. Very good. When you feel dismayed because of a setback in your life, do you tend to get over it quickly or does it take you a while to bounce back? When you feel dismayed because of a setback on your life, do you tend to get over it quickly or does it take you a while to bounce back? When I feel this way, because of a setback of the set in, my life, in my life, I, I tend to, to get, over it quickly. get over it quickly. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Would you describe yourself as having a fairly carefree attitude to life? Would you describe yourself as having a fairly carefree attitude to life? Yes or no? Uh, yes. I would describe. I would describe myself as having, myself as having a fairly a carefree, carefree, attitude carefree attitude to life. life. Very good. Okay, next. How many staircases are there in your building? How many staircases are there in your building? There are staircases. Staircases. Like, uh, what? Mm, staircases. Like the set of, uh, well, set, the, the set whole of set. Stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two. Uh, three, four staircases. Oh, there are four staircases, staircases in my in, building. In my building. And how many flights of stairs are there? How many flights of stairs are there? There are. There are two flights of stairs. Very good. Okay. There. I think it's the other way. Because the staircase uh, is like the whole set. So this is uh, the flight of stairs. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I have two staircases. Yeah, that's it. One more. Two there are two staircases, uh, two staircases in my building. In my building. And how many the... flights of stairs are there? Uh, there are. There are four flights, flights of stairs. stairs. Very good. Oh. Okay. Next. When the culprit of a crime is convicted, is the person likely to get off more lightly if they've shown genuine remorse during their trial? When the culprit of a crime is convicted, is the person likely to get off more lightly if they've shown genuine remorse during their trial? Yes. Yes. If the culprit of a is crime of is convicted, a crime is convicted, the person is likely the person is to get likely off more get lightly off more, more if likely. they've shown if they've genuine remorse during their trial. During their trial. Very good. Have you? ever entrusted a complete stranger with looking after your belongings while you visited the toilet in a coffee shop or on a train? Have you ever entrusted a complete stranger with looking after your belongings 
while you visited the toilet in a coffee shop or on a train, yes or no? Mm, no. I've never entrusted, I've never entrusted a complete stranger a complete with stranger looking after with my, looking belongings after my belongings while I visited while the I toilet visited in, a the coffee coffee shop in a coffee shop or on a train. Or on a train. Yeah. Very good. What's the greatest hardship you've ever had to suffer? Okay, but we only have 10 seconds 